Expectation. Life would be so much easier without it. For example, let me present you with two scenarios. Here's the first. It's your birthday, and I've known it's been coming for months and months. I've been brainstorming about the perfect idea, and I've finally come up with it. I go to the store, I get the item, I come home, I spend a long time wrapping it so it's absolutely perfect because, let's face it, gift bags are just lazy. I give it to you, so excited about your inevitable response. You open it, you look at it, you pause, and you say, This is, this is great. Thanks, Melinda. I love it. I would be pretty crushed by that reaction. I expected you to be thrilled. On the other hand, say I forgot about your birthday, for absolutely plausible reasons, of course. I rushed to the store, happened to stumble upon the same thing that I gave in the first example, stuck it in a bag, handed it to you, and you had the same reaction. That's fine. You liked it. Hooray. All is fine with the world. So what makes me respond differently to your reactions in both of those situations? My expectations. Life would be so much easier without expectations. But then I realized that expectation is essentially hope. Merriam-Webster defines hope like this, to cherish a desire with anticipation, to desire with expectation of obtainment, to expect with confidence, trust. And it's true. Hope like expectation can be really cruel when unfulfilled. But it's hope that separates us from things like animals and trees. It's hope that keeps us going when everything in life tells us we should give up. It's the imagining that life could get better in the future. It's the thing with feathers that perches in our soul and warms us from the coldness of this world and its cynicism and its realness and its harshness. So in even the smallest of situations, like an unwelcome reaction to a well thought out gift, I wish that you wouldn't be hardened. I ask that you opt to be human and vulnerable and choose to hope again.